hello guys welcome back to the channel so as you can see from the thumbnail today I'm going to show you how you can transfer or send your ERC20 tokens to your Ledger Nano S wallet so basically first thing you need to know is that Ledger Nano S does not support natively the ERC20 tokens this means that um, even though uh, we are going to transfer or keep our ERC20 tokens on our Ledger Nano S, this does not mean that we are going to have an actual wallet uh, installed on our Ledger Nano S, like we have, for example, uh, Ethereum wallet, Bitcoin wallet, or uh, Ethereum Classic wallet, and so on. So basically, uh, since the ERC20 tokens are just tokens uh, uh, built on the uh, Ethereum network or Ethereum platform, this means that they are not actual coins like uh, like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic or Bitcoin, for example. And that is the reason why uh, why they are called uh, tokens and not coins. Uh, but uh, uh, basically, uh, even though we are not going to have an actual wallet on our Ledger Nano S, you can uh, you can be you can be sure that the safety is the same uh, because the only way we are going to or uh, we are able to access these ERC20 tokens is only by using our Ledger Nano S. So as a matter of safety, it's the same thing. Although we are not going to have an actual wallet on our PC or on our Ledger Nano S. And the procedure is very easy. We, uh, we are going to send our ERC20 tokens to our Ledger Nano S uh, through myetherwallet.com. So we basically just go to myetherwallet.com. And before we begin, please guys, be very, very careful with myetherwallet.com because there are many, many phishing websites that um, that are trying to steal our funds so when you go to www.myetherwallet.com there must be any other um, any other special character or any other character in there so before you go on please be very careful when you go to myetherwallet.com and so um, you don't risk uh, fishing your coins and losing all your your funds so uh, yeah you just go to myetherwallet.com you just go on send ether and tokens in this case we are going to select ledger wallet because we are going to use our ledger wallet then we are going to connect our ledger nano s to the pc and then we are going obviously to enter our pin code after you enter your pin code then you go to the ethereum wallet on your ledger nano s then uh, before we begin you go to settings then you go to you go to browser support browser support if your browser support it's on no you must select yes so this means that browser support must be on yes then we go to connect to ledger wallet and here you go this is my ledger nano s collect uh, connected to to my ethereum wallet as you can see the there are five addresses of ethereum wallet we can use all of them or we can use only one because these are actual wallets that are available only on our ledger nano s and we can access these wallets only by using our ledger nano s so as i told you at the beginning although we are using uh, a web wallet uh, the only way we can ac uh, access uh, these wallets ethereum and uh, obviously the erc20 tokens we are going to have in here it's only by using our ledger nano s so make sure you have selected derivation path here ledger ethereum because uh, the erc20 tokens are uh, based on the ethereum network or platform you just click on unlock your wallet and here you go this address in here it's your 
uh, your Ethereum address, which is uh, which is uh, stored on your Ledger Nano S. Although we have opened it through my Ether wallet, so uh, basically now we have two options in here. If, for example, we have uh, we have our ERC20 tokens on another Ethereum address, like me, for example, if you can see in here, I have this Ethereum wallet address, which I have stored all of my ERC20 tokens that I have received uh, through the time I have been uh, working or, uh, or uh, buying uh, ERC20 tokens. And here you can see that I have some balance of various tokens on my Ethereum wallet address. Uh, but um, obviously this address in here is the address that I have opened on my Ether wallet. So it's not my Ledger Nano S address. So if you are on the same position and you want to transfer these tokens from this address to the Ledger Nano S, the procedure is very, very easy. For example, you just go to the uh, it, to the Ledger Nano S Ethereum address. You copy this one. You go to your actual other uh, Ethereum wallet address that you have your token stored. You paste your Ethereum wallet address you want to send. Then you select the tokens or the coins you want to send to your Ledger Nano S address. Let's say, for example, stores, since, uh, since I have some stores in here. You enter the amount you want to send to the Ledger Nano S. Then you hit generate and then just follow the steps to send the storage tokens to your Ethereum, uh, to your Ethereum, uh, uh, Ethereum Ledger wallet that, uh, that we have opened before. And uh, after you have sent them, you can find them here on this uh, section, show all tokens. And if you scroll down here, if we go to the storage S, so let me go in here, okay, S, S, T, where are you? Okay, storage. Okay, it says zero he in here because I don't, uh, uh, I didn't send any coins to this address, but if I do, then the storage coins should, um, uh, should pop up uh, in here. But um, this is the first option, as I told you. This means if you had your ERC20 token stored on another, on another uh, web wallet or another Ethereum wallet, so you can send them to your Ledger Nano S wallet. And after you send them in here, the only way you can access this uh, coins or tokens, ERC20 tokens, is by using your Ledger Nano S through myetherwallet.com. And this is basically uh, the way how you send or store your ERC20 tokens to your Ledger Nano S. But uh, let's say, for example, that you don't find your ERC20 tokens in this list, uh, in this list here. Then uh, the procedure is very easy. You just go on this website here, explorer.io, open it on a new tab, then you go to in here, add custom tokens, because we, let's say we didn't find our token in there, then you go to the explorer.io, you search for your token, uh, let's say for example, let's try Naga, for example, Naga coin, although I have this coin, but let's say you didn't find it in there, then in here you copy the contract address, this one here, copy, you paste it in here, then you get the symbol, which is this one, copy, and the decimals, 18. The symbol goes to token symbol and the decimals goes in here, 18. So 18, okay, then you hit uh, on save and you have added your new uh, your new ERC20 token that you didn't find on the list uh, on the list below and yeah basic, uh, basically that's uh, it this is uh, for uh, every token you want to use you just enter the name of the token and then again you copy uh, you copy the contract you copy the symbol and the decimals you add them in here at custom token and you have added the new ERC20 token uh, that you have received. Obviously, if you don't find your ERC20 tokens, uh, uh, tokens here. 
so uh, yeah I hope uh, this was clear uh, um, if you have any question uh, uh, obviously you can ask on the comment section and I will try to help you out uh, uh, whichever way I can oh uh, another thing um, when you are sending your uh, coins your or your tokens from another wallet to your Ledger Nano S wallet make sure you have some balance of Ethereum because since the ERC20 tokens are not actual coins when sending these ERC20 tokens from a wallet to another wallet or let's say to our Ledger Nano S wallet you are going to spend Ethereum for the transaction to happen not the tokens uh, you are going to send so um, if your um, if your transaction does not go through this uh, this means that you don't have ethereum uh, on your uh, on your actual wallet uh, from which you are trying to send your coins to your ledger nano s uh, wallet in here so make sure of that uh, and yeah i hope i have covered all the things in here and um, yeah keep in mind that um, um, Keep in mind that, um, as I told you, you are not going to get an actual wallet of the ERC20 tokens on your Legend Nano S or on your PC, but you are only going to uh, to send these coins to your uh, Ethereum Ledger Nano S address, and so you can access them only by using your Legend Nano S and nothing else. So you can be uh, you can uh, be safe about your ERC20 tokens or coins or anything else. So this is uh, basically the way how you store your ERC20 tokens on your Ledger Nano S. Hope this was clear again guys. Uh, please comment on the comment section if you have uh, anything uh, else to know. And yeah, I'll try to have uh, out and um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.